What's up guys, Nathan here back with another video and today I'm kicking off a three or five part series. As you guys may be aware, this summer I was working at a moving company and you might be thinking, yeah, nothing interesting happens at a moving company and for the most part, you're absolutely right. But over the hundred or so days I worked, I can honestly say that maybe three, four or five of them were incredibly fascinating. And I'm gonna put my hand in the mix of trying to tell these stories in a way that is interesting to you guys. So. Here's number one. Just a few days ago, actually my last day working at the moving company, we moved the Guinness World Record book holder for the most board games owned by a civilian in the entire world. 6,500 board games. And I was fortunate enough to have a little bit of time alone in his den area that has all the board games so I could take a couple pictures. I even took a little bit of video when my coworkers were there. So I'm gonna insert that in now. <laughs> This is crazy, John. Uh, <laughs> it's everywhere. It's just, it's like over here. You got like a thing back here. You can see the rows are like S L I M N. Like that. Yeah, partially, partially alphabetized. Say something, James. No words. Absolute mind bomb. Sixty. Crazy. He had like some of the first ever twisters, monopolies, like he collects everything. He's been accumulating them over his entire life. He says he has like 60 or 70,000 in board games, which is insane how it can actually be that little. I'd expect it to be more. So the process of moving him was kind of complicated. We did his house and then the next day we sent a smaller crew out to handle this shed that had all the board games in it. They're all alphabetized from letter A to letter Z. And so we get there, we're expecting, you know, we're gonna be loading all the board games into boxes, alphabetized, individually wrapping all of them and then shipping them off inside our trucks. But instead, he says, don't worry about the alphabetization, just take them over. I want to have another chance to go through them, alphabetize them again because it's a little bit out of order. So we're like, oh dang. So we finished all 6,500 board games in one day, crazy. We ended up moving those dressers, those cabinets that you see in the picture right there with all the board games in them. It's the heaviest thing I've ever lifted. We have these lifting straps at the company that we use for really heavy, large things because you can't get your fingers under it to grab it really well because of the size and how heavy it is. So we threaded the lifting straps under. Um, based on the hundreds of times I've lifted pianos, really heavy armoires. I'd say it maybe was six to 700 pounds each. There were two of them. I, like I'm talking, that, that's a little over my deadlift maximum, which is just, you know, getting a bar from the ground up. And so we were walking with these things, split between two people, ravaging. It was crazy. So of course I blow out my knee, I'm walking around trying to stretch it out. And we, we finished this guy's thing. Like it took the same amount of time to move his board games. Actually, no, it took longer to move his board games than it took to move his entire house. 